जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गाध शिवासदी गौरभक्त वृंद जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद शिव श्री अद्वैत गाध शिवासदी गौरभक्त वृंद हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधो जगतपते गोपेश नमोस्तु दे तप्त कंचवृंदेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय तुलसी राधे गुरु गानंद भगवान की जय गुरु श्रीमद भागवतम की जय कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा इनका आज कुछ चौथ व्रत कुछ है ना आज क्या उपवास पता नहीं कोई तो भी उपवास या कुछ है आज रीना जी बोले थोड़ा लेट ज्वाइन करेंगे क्योंकि उनका कुछ उपवास है अच्छा अच्छा फास्टिंग कुछ मून का होगा ठीक है शुरू करते हैं हम लोग तो हम लोग फोर्टी सिक्स श्लोक पढ़ रहे हैं सिक्सटीन अध्याय सिक्स स्कन और महाराज चित्र केतु के बारे में पढ़ रहे हैं महाराज चित्र केतु पहले नारद मुनि एंड अंगिरा मुनि ट्रांसेंडेंटल मैसेज उपदेश देते हैं महाराज चित्र केतु उसके बाद में आध्यात्मिक ज्ञान हो जाने के बाद शंकर्षण भगवान के दर्शन करने दर्शन करते हैं तो भगवान विष्णु के पास शंकर्षण भगवान का दर्शन करते हैं और वो जो दर्शन कर रहे हैं उसको डिस्क्राइब कर रहे हैं वो ग्लोरिफिकेशन कर रहे हैं दैट्स व्हाट वी आर रीडिंग राइट सो चित्र केतु महाराज इज ग्लोरिफाइंग लॉर्ड शंकर्षण दैट्स व्हाट वी आर रीडिंग सो हम लोग फोर्टी श्लोक पे थे अनिल जी जी विदित मनंत समस्तम तब जगदात्मनो जनयर आचरित विज्ञाप्यम परम गुरोह कीदिवितुरी कद्योत ओ अनलिमिटेड सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड वॉट एवर ए लिविंग एंटिटी डज इन दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड इज वेल नोन टू यू बिकॉज यू आर द सुपर सोल इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द सन देर इज नथिंग टू बी रिवील्ड बाय द लाइट ऑफ ए ग्लो वर्म सिमिलरली बिकॉज यू नो एवरीथिंग इन योर प्रेजेंस देर इज नथिंग फॉर मी टू मेक नोन Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, basically he's glorifying and he's saying you know everything, of course. So there is nothing for me to make no. Mm. Namastu bhyam bhagavate sakal jagate istiti tala udaye shaya duravasitaat magate puyogi nam vidha paramhansaaye. My dear Lord. You are the creator, maintainer, and annihilator of this cosmic manifestation. But persons who are too materialistic and who always see separateness do not have eyes with which to see you. They cannot understand your real position, and therefore they conclude that the cosmic manifestation is independent of your opulence. My Lord, you are the supreme pure. and you are full in all six opulences therefore i offer my respectful obeisances unto you okay so chitraketu king chitraketu keh rahe hain yeah namastubhyam bhagavate right offer my obeisances and of course he is the sakal jagat of the sampurna cosmic manifestation says stiti lay and uday means for creator maintainer and annihilator of this cosmic manifestation so it's a nice purport so let's read this uh, ajay sure atistic men 
think that the cosmic manifestation has come about by chance, by a combination of matter without reference to God. Materialistic so-called chemists and atheistic, atheistic philosophers always try to avoid even the name of God in relation to the cosmic manifestation. For them, God's creation is impossible to understand because they are too materialistic. The Supreme Personality of Godhead is Param, Paramhams or the Supreme Pure where those who are sinful being very much attracted to material sense enjoyment and therefore engaging in material activities like asses are the lowest of men. All their so-called scientific knowledge is null and void because of their atheistic temperament. Thus, they cannot understand the Supreme Personality of God. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yam Vaya Manu Vishwa Srajaha Shosanti Yam Chekitan Manu Chittaya Uchakanti Umandalam Sarsha Payati Yasya Murdhina Tasmai Namo Bhagavato Vastu Sahasta Murdhane My dear Lord, it is after you endeavor that Lord Brahma, Indra, and other directors of the cosmic manifestation become occupied with their activities. It is after you perceive the material energy, my Lord, that the senses begin to perceive. The Supreme Personality of Godhead holds all the universes on his heads like seeds of mustard. I offer my respectful obeisances unto you, the Supreme Personality, who has thousands of hoods. Hare Krishna. <clears throat> Hare Krishna. Right? So you read about Lord Sankarshan, Seshnag, right? Yes. Thousands of hoods. Sahastra Mudhane. Yeah. And so offer respectful obeisance unto you. Tasme Namo Bhagavate. So. so. Ajay? Yeah. Shri Shuk Uvaj. Sanstato Bhagavan Bhagwanim Vamananant Istam Bhashat Vidya Dharpati Preeti Shit came to Kurudva. Subdev Goswami continued, The Lord, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Anant Dev, being very much pleased with the prayers offered by Chitraketu, the king of Vidya, Vidya Dharas. Replied to him as, as follows, O best of Guru dynasty, Maharaja Parikshit. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So basically, after glorifying Lord Sankarshan, right? The so Lord Sankarshan, also known as Ananta Dev, then he replies to Maharaj Chitrakit. Sri Bhagavan Uvacha Yan Narada Angiro Bhyam E Vyahatam Me Anusashanam. The Supreme Personality of Godhead, Anantadev, replied as follows, O King, as a result of your having accepted the instructions spoken about me by the great sages Narada and Angira, you have become completely aware of transcendental knowledge. Because you are now educated in the spiritual science, you have seen me face to face. Therefore, you are now completely perfect. Right? Sage Rajan Vidya Darshanach May. Because of the Angira Muni and Narad Muni's transcendental knowledge, right? Maharaj Chitraketu got Darshan of Anantadev, Lord Sankarshan. And so on. Lord Anantadev is now replying that now that you have seen me become completely perfect. And that is the highest perfection of life as we know. And it's a nice purport again. Let's read this. Anilji. <clears throat> the perfection of life is to be spiritually educated and to understand the existence of the Lord and how he creates, maintains, and annihilates the cosmic manifestation. When one is perfect in knowledge, he can develop his love of Godhead through the association of such perfect persons as Narad and Angira, and the members of their disciplic succession. Then one is able to see the unlimited Supreme Personality of Godhead face to face. Although the Lord is unlimited, 
by his causeless mercy, he becomes visible to the devotee who is then, then able to see him. In our present position of conditioned life, we cannot see or understand the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Ataha Sri Krishna Namadi Na Bhaved Graham Indraya Sevan Mukhe Hi Jihavadu Dau Swam Eva Ispurate Ataha. No one can understand the transcendental nature of the name, form, quality, and pastimes of Sri Krishna through his materially contaminated senses. Only when one becomes spiritually saturated by transcendental service to the Lord are the transcendental name, form, quality, and pastimes of the Lord revealed to him. Bhakti Rasamrata Sindhu 1.2.234 If one takes to a spiritual life under the direction of Narad Muni or his representative and thus engages himself in the service of the Lord, he qualifies himself to see the Lord face to face. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so the most important thing mentioned in this paragraph is who is qualified to see the Lord face to face. Right? So nothing qualifies except right, engaging oneself in the service of the Lord. And how do you engage oneself in the service of the Lord? That's the Bhakti Yoga. And how do we do Bhakti? Right, yeah, nine different ways. Nine different ways. So, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Ishmaram, yeah, Archana, Vigram. So, that's how we do bhakti. Like, we start with chanting, reading Srimad Bhagavatam. That's the bhakti, and that's the only way, you know, by his causeless mercy, he becomes visible to the devotee. Then, one is able to see him. Yeah. So even though he's unlimited, that's what it may be mentioned, even though he's unlimited, right? only due to his causeless mercy and which happens if one is engaged in devotional service. Otherwise, because we are conditioned, we cannot see or understand him. right? But once becomes spiritually saturated by transcendental service to the Lord, yeah, one can actually, the Lord reveals to him is what is being mentioned, right? Ajay? The Brahma Samhita 5.38 states Premandana Charita Bhakti Vilochana Vilot Vilochanaina Santah Sadadaya Santam Santah Sadaya Videshu Vilokayanti Vilokayanti Yam Shyam Sundaram Achente Guna Swarupam Govindam Adipursham Tam Aham Bajami. I worship the primeval Lord Govind, who is always seen by devotees, whose eyes are united with the pulp of love. He is seen in his eternal form of Shyam Sundar, situated within the heart of the deity. One must follow the instructions of spiritual master. Thus, one becomes qualified and later sees the supreme personality of Godhead as, as evinced by Maharaja Chitraketu. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So, this is the this is what is written in Brahma Samhita, where Lord Brahmaji is doing prayers and glorification of Lord Govind. Yeah? Govindam Adi Purusham Tam Aham Bhajami. That's what Lord Brahmaji is doing. And he's saying that. Lord Govind is always seen by the devotee whose eyes are anointed with the pulp of love. Yeah? Bhakti Viloch Nena is what he is saying. Premanjana Churita Bhakti Viloch Nena. Yeah? Santa Sadev Ridhyeshu Viloch Yanti. Ridhyeshu Viloch Yanti. Chama Sundar situated within the heart of the devotee. And that's how Supreme Personality of Godhead can be seen. And one gets qualified to be seen, like Maya Chitra did. So, Hare Krishna Nisha. Hare Krishna. Aham vai sarva bhutani bhutatma bhuta bhavana shabda brahma param brahma mamove shashvati tan. All living entities, moving and non moving, are my expansion and are 
separate from me. I am the super soul of all living beings who exist because I manifest them. I am the form of trans transcendental vibrations like Omkara and Hare Krishna Hare Ram. And I am the supreme absolute truth. These two forms of mind, namely the transcendental sound and the eternally blissful spiritual form of the deity, are my eternal forms. They are not material. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So very important things mentioned here. First, of course, Hamve Sarva Bhutani. And who is speaking right now? Bhagavan Uvacha. Lord Sankarshan, right? Anantadev is replying to Maharaj Chitraketu. Yeah? So Maharaj Chitraketu did the glorification of Anantadev, Lord Sankarshan. And Lord Sankarshan is now replying. So he's the Lord Vishnu. He is replying. So he is now saying himself. Right? So this is directly from Lord Vishnu. He is saying that Aham Ve Sarva Bhutani. Like I am everything essentially. Yeah? I am the super soul of all living beings. Yeah? I am the form of the transcendental vibrations. Shabda Brahma. Param Brahma. Mamobhe Shashwati Tanu is saying that I am the form of transcendental vibrations like Omkara and Hare Krishna and Ram. And I am the supreme absolute truth. Shashwati Tanu. Yeah? And he's saying the most important thing which is mentioned here is the transcendental sound, right, which is the name of the Lord, like Om or Hare Krishna, Hare Ram, and also the eternally blissful spiritual form of the deity. So if you go in the temple, Archa Vigraha, right, where the Pran Pratishta has been done, that spiritual form of the deity are not just anything else. They are actually, they are not material. They are my eternal forms. Right, so any sound, and the deities in the temple are the eternal forms of the Lord. They are not material. Is what is being told by Lord Vishnu himself. Yeah. <clears throat> Actually, nice purport did this, but this one here is very um, <clears throat> nice. It says that all material activities are actually illusory. And progress in illusion is simply a waste of time. Right? So it doesn't matter how much we progress. These illusory activities are called Akarya. And one must learn of them from the instructions of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. As stated in Bhagavad Gita 4.17 Karmano hi api bodhayam bodhayam che vikramanaha e karmanasa che bodhayam Guhana Karmano Gati. The intricacies of action are very hard to understand. Therefore, one should know properly what action is, what forbidden action is, and what inaction is. One must learn of these directly from the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who, as Anantadev, is instructing King Chitraketu because of the advanced stage of devotional service he achieved by following the instructions of Narada and Angira. Yeah, so he's directly instructing Chitraketu. So that's what we are reading, and we should learn from that. Yeah, <clears throat> and he also says that earth, water, fire, ether, mind, intelligence, and false ego are the eight things comprised separated material energies. Besides this inferior nature, oh my mighty armed Arjun, there is a superior energy of mind which consists of the living entities who are struggling with material nature and are sustaining the universe. The living entity tries to load it over the material or physical elements, but both the physical elements and spiritual spark are energies emanating from the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Therefore, the Lord says, Aham vai sarva bhutani, like I am everything, just as heat and light emanate from fire. These two energies, the physical elements and the living entities, emanate from the Supreme Lord. Therefore, the Lord says, Aham vai sarva bhutani. I expand the physical and spiritual categories both. Yeah, is what Lord Sankarshan is saying. And you know, that we just talked about the transcendental sound here. The Lord says in Bhagavad Gita, like, 
प्रणव है सर्व वेदेशु आई एम दिलेबल ओम इन ऑल द वैदिक मंत्र वैदिक नॉलेज बिगिन विद द वाइब्रेशन ऑफ द ट्रांसेंडेंटल साउंड प्रणव ओमकारा द सेम ट्रांसेंडेंटल साउंड इज हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे अभिनावतम नाम नमिनो there is no difference between the holy name of the lord and the lord himself lord is absolute there is no difference between the name and the lord itself right that's why chanting is so important <clears throat> hari krishna sachin <clears throat> hari krishna hari krishna everybody loke vitata matmanam lokam chaatmani santatam ubhayam cha maya vyaptam mai chaivo bhayam krutam in this world of matter which which the conditioned soul accepts as consisting of enjoyable resources the conditioned soul expands thinking that he is the enjoyer of the material world similarly the material world expands in the living entity as a source of enjoyment in this way they they both expand but because they are my energies they are both pervaded by me as the supreme lord i am the cause of these effects and one should know that both of them rest in me hari krishna स्वप्न उत्थिता एवं जागरणादी जीवस्था चात्म मया मात्रा जिज्ञा तद दृष्टार परम स्मरेत when a person is in deep sleep he dreams and sees in, in himself many other objects such as great mountains and rivers or perhaps even the entire universe although they are far away sometimes when one awakens from a dream he sees that he is in a human form lying in his bed in one place then he sees himself in terms of various conditions as belonging to a particular nationality family and so on all the conditions of deep sleep dreaming and wakefulness are but energies of the supreme personality of godhead one should always remember the original creator of these conditions the supreme lord who is unaffected by them hare krishna hare krishna hmm. ajay <clears throat> ajay येन सुखम च माम नो मी टू द सुप्रीम ब्राह्मण ऑल द परवेडिंग सुपर सोल थ्रू होम द स्लीपिंग लिविंग एंटिटी कैन अंडरस्टैंड हिज ड्रीमिंग कंडीशन एंड हिज हैपीनेस बियॉन्ड द एक्टिविटीज ऑफ मटीरियल सेंसेस that is to say i am the cause of the activities of the sleeping living being hari krishna hari krishna yeah i say sukham cha nirgunam brahma yeah everything is caused by all pervading super soul lord vishnu yeah and so here when the living entity becomes free from false ego ahankar he understands his superior position as a spirit soul part and parcel of the pleasure potency of the lord thus due to brahma even while sleeping the living entity can enjoy the lord says the brahma the parmatma and that bhagwan are are i myself this is noted by sri la jeev goswami in his karma sandarbh yeah so all three some people try to just reach to brahma right that's the and then parmatma and of course beyond that bhagwan all are nothing but supreme personality of godhead is what is being mentioned hmm? nisha ubhayam smaratah punsah praswa pratibodhayoh anveti vyati richet tajjanam brahma tatparam if one's dreams during sleep are merely subjects subject matters witnessed by the super soul how can the living entity 
who is different from the super soul remember the activities of dreams the experiences of one person cannot be understood by another therefore the knower of the facts the living entity who inquires into the incidents manifested in dreams and wakefulness is is different from the circumstantial activities that knowing factor is brahman in other words the quality of knowing be, belongs to the living entities and the super, uh, supreme soul thus the living entity can also experience the activities of dreams and wakefulness in both stages the knower is unchanged but the quality quality tably one with the supreme brahman hare krishna hare krishna <clears throat> sachin jadeta twisrutam unso madbha madbhavam bhinna bhinna atmanam matmatmanah ततः संसार देहो व्हेन द लिविंग एंटिटी थिंकिंग हिमसेल्फ डिफरेंट फ्रॉम मी फॉरगेट्स हिज स्पिरिचुअल आइडेंटिटी ऑफ क्वालिटी ओपननेस वननेस विथ मी इन इटर्निटी नॉलेज एंड ब्लिस हिज मटेरियल कंडीशनल लाइफ बिगिन्स इन अदर वर्ड्स इंस्टेड ऑफ आइडेंटिफाइंग हिज इंटरेस्ट विथ मी विथ माइंड he becomes interested in his bodily expansions like his wife children material possessions in this way by influence of his actions one body comes from another and one and after one death another that takes place hari krishna hari krishna yeah, the cycle of death and birth continues all days and disease right deho deho mrite mrite continues because of the condition of life in a nice purport let's read this uh, anil ji generally the mayavadi philosophers or persons influenced by mayavadi philosophers think themselves as good as the supreme personality of godhead this is the cause of their conditional life as stated by the vaishnav poet jagadananda pandita in in his prem vivart krishna bahir mukha ana hana bhoga banchita karai निकता स्था माया तरे जपतिये जपतिया धरे एज सून एज ए लिविंग एंटिटी फॉरगेट्स हिज कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल पोजिशन एंड एंडेवर्स टू बिकम वन विद द सुप्रीम हिज कंडीशनल लाइफ बिगिन्स द कंसेप्शन दैट द सुप्रीम ब्राह्मण एंड द लिविंग एंटिटी आर इक्वल नॉट ओनली इन क्वालिटी बट आल्सो इन क्वान्टिटी इज द काज ऑफ कंडीशनल लाइफ इफ वन फॉरगेट्स द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड and the living entity his conditional life begins conditional life means giving up one body to accept another and undergoing death to accept death again the mayavadi philosopher teaches the philosophy of tattvam asi saying you are the same as god he forgets that tattvam asi applies in terms of the marginal position of the living entity who is like sunshine there is heat and light in the sun and there is heat and light in the sunshine and thus they are qualitatively one but one should not forget that the sunshine rests on the sun hare krishna hare krishna yeah like the difference between what is being explained is like conditioned soul like us and the supreme personality of god that even though qualitatively they may have the similar qualities still right the conditioned souls are a small portion right and what is the way it's explained is like there is a sunshine and the sun right but even though they both have heat and light same properties they are different is what is explained here right ajay as the lord says in bhagavad gita brahmano hi pratistham pratistham hum i am the original source of brahman the sunshine is important because of the presence of the sun globe it is not that the sun globe is important because of the all pervasiveness of the sunshine forgetfulness and misunderstanding of this fact is called maya because of forgetfulness of one's cons- constitutional position and that of supreme lord one comes into maya or 
samsara. Condition life in this regard, Malva Charya says, Sarva Bhinam par Paratmamam Paratmanam Vishma Vish Vishmaran Samsard Samsard Iha Abhin Abhinaha Abhinam Samsaram Yeti Tamu Nasti Atri Samsaya when one thinks that the living entity is non-different in all respects from Supreme Lord, there is no doubt that he is in ignorance. Tama. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Labdavehe manushim yonim jnana vijjana sambhavam Atmanam yona buddha yeta na kvachita kshema ma priyat. A human being can attain perfection in life by self realization through the Vedic literature and its practical application. This is possible especially for a human being born in India, the land of piety. A man who obtains birth in such a convenient position but does not understand himself is unable to achieve the highest perfection even if he is exalted to life in the higher planetary systems. Yeah. So what is being mentioned here is a labdeva manushim yoni. With manusha yoni, right, there is a possibility that self-realization can be done. Atmanam yona buddha yet. And that self-realization can be done through the Vedic literature and bhakti yoga. Nisha? Sruta Vehayam Pariklesham Tataha Phala Viparyayam Abhayam Chapini Hayam Sankal Padvir Met Kaviha. Remembering the great trouble found in the field of activities performed for creative results and remembering how one receives the reverse of the results one desires, whether from <coughs> whether from material actions or from the fruitive activities recommended in the Vedic literatures, an intelligent man should cease from the desire from fruitive actions, for by such endeavors one cannot achieve the ultimate goal of life. On the other hand, in one acts without desires for fruitive results, in other words, if one engages in devotional activities, he can achieve the highest goal of life with freedom from miserable conditions. Considering this, one should cease from material desires. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So again and again, as we have read, clearly being mentioned, on the other hand, if one acts without desire for fruity results, karm ki chinta nahi karke, or if one engages in devotional activities, like as we just talked about, if one engages in those bhakti yoga, right, shanam, kirtanam, chanting, reading Srimad Bhagavatam, he can achieve the highest goal of life. And that is the highest perfection of life, as is what has been mentioned here actually. And then you get free from miserable conditions. Why miserable conditions? It's a constant suffering of birth, death, old age and disease. So to get out of that miserable condition, one or to engage in devotional activities. Sachin? Sukhaya Dukkha Mokshaya Kurvate Dampati Kriyaha Tato Anivrutir Praptir Dukkhasya Cha Sukhasya Cha as husband and wife, a man and woman plan together to attain happiness and decrease unhappiness, working jointly in many ways. But because their activities are full of desires, these activities are never a source of happiness and they never diminish distress. On the contrary, they are a cause of great unhappiness. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, what is basically what is being mentioned in the material world, whatever we do, right, whether it's family or whatever else. Yeah, these activities are never a source of happiness, is what is being mentioned. So, <clears throat> yeah, it says, Dukkha Shachaya, Sukha 
So everyone should be engaged in Bhakti Yoga is what is being mentioned. Anilji? Evam vipariyam buddhva naram vigyabhi manuinam atmanascha gatim sukshaam sukshmaam sthanatra yavi lakshanam drashtra sutabhi vir matra vinir muktah suen tejasa jnana vigyana santrapto mad bhakta purusho bhavet. One should understand that the activities of persons who are proud of their material experience being only results contradictory to those such persons conceive while awake, sleeping and deeply sleeping. One should further understand that the spirit soul, although very difficult for the materialists to perceive, is above all these, condi all these conditions and by the strength of one's discrimination, one should give up the desire for fruitive results in the present life and in the next. Thus, becoming experienced in transcendental knowledge, one should become my devotee. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So who is speaking right now? Bhagwan. Right? Bhagwan Sankarshan, Bhagwan Anand today is speaking to Maharaj Chitraketu. Yeah. Ajay? Ita Vaniva. Man, Manu Jayu Ganai Punne Buddhi Swartha Sarvatmana Gayu Yat Paratma 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 Pradarshanam. Person who try to reach the ultimate goal of life must expertly observe the Supreme Absolute Person and the Living Entity who are one in quantity, quality in their relationship as part and whole. This is the ultimate understanding of life. There is no better truth than this. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so very important thing mentioned here again is who are one in quality in their relationship as part and whole. Yeah? So like we as a conditioned soul, right? the soul has the qualities which are similar to the qualities which the supreme soul has. Right, the supreme personality of Godhead has. So that's why with the supreme absolute person and the living entity, right, our soul, we have the same quality. However, so like that's why we are we also have the quality of independence, right? But as part and the whole, we are just a small part, like we are not the God. Like some people get up and they declare themselves as God, that hey, the soul is the super soul and then they are the God, right? That is not the case, right? We are having the same qualities, but we are as a part, we are a small part of the whole and the whole is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And what is being mentioned is, this is the ultimate understanding of life. There is no better truth than this. Yeah. Nisha? O King, if you accept this conclusion of mine, being unattached to material enjoyment, adhering to me with great faith and thus becoming proficient and fully aware of knowledge and its practical application in life, you will achieve the highest perfection by attaining me. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. The highest perfection of life is to attain Supreme Personality of Godhead. Yeah. Is what is being mentioned by the Lord Himself. Sachin. Sri Shuka Uvach. Ashwasya Bhagwan Titham Chitra Ketum Jagat Guru Pashyata. Pashyatasya Vishwatma Tatascha Tataschantar Dadhe Harihi. Sri Sukhadev Swami continued, after thus instructing Chitra Ketu and assuring him of perfection in his way, in this way, uh, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is the Supreme Spiritual Master, the Supreme Soul, Sankarshana, 
disappeared from the place as Chitraketu looked on. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So after giving this transcendental message to Maharaj Chitraketu, Antar Dhadeya Hari Hai. Yeah. The Lord Sankarshan disappeared from that place. Uh, yeah. And also, thus ends the Bhakti Vedanta purpose of the 6th canto, 16th chapter of the Srimad Bhagavatam entitled King Chitraketu meets the Supreme Lord. Hello, Srimad Bhagavatam ki. Yeah. yeah, so we'll pause here. Very nice purport in terms of the conversation between Mahat Chitraketu and the Lord Sankarshan himself. Right? So we'll hear a nice bhajan. Uh, the devotional service, as mentioned, like the devotional service, the chanting, bhajan, kirtanam, is the way to achieve the highest perfection in life. We'll hear this bhajan five to six minutes and then. Sadguru Sarkar ki Tiri Kripa ka Bharusa Bhari Radhara Tiri Kripa ka Bharusa Bhari Radhara
This time I was in Vrindavan where we got to go in Mangla Arti actually. So they really do nice bhajan there starting at 4, 4 a.m. And then there's a beautiful Arti in the temple at 5.30. Now only the devotees are allowed there actually. So we knew someone so we could get in. And it was so wonderful. So nice. <laughs> right? See you tomorrow. Okay. At 9.30 p.m. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.